Civilization VI, Sid Meier. Every time we see that fucking name attached to a game, we all get all jittery and happy. Why? Because we know it's gonna be just fucking fun. That's the key thing about games, right? I think we could all agree to that. If the game's not fun, why the fuck is it even made? That's the whole premise of a video game, right? Is to immerse you into an experience, but at the same time, it's gotta be fucking fun. If you're not finding fun in it, there's no point. So Sid Meier's really fucking good at this. Sid Meier goes ahead, puts his name on shit, and he makes the game so simple and so easy to understand, but yet so fun at the same time. And one of these games that he's very, very, very good at is the franchise Civilization. So most people that have played Civilization actually started in Civilization 4, 5, give or take. 5 started off kind of like, meh, but as the expansions came out, it got really fucking good. I know guys that have spent thousands of hours into the game. Myself, I've already spent, I think, like 400 hours into it. I love it. So 5 comes out, it's fucking amazing. Everyone's loving it. I'm loving it. It's great. Then we have a brief period of time where there's like nothing coming out. And we're like, dude, where's the other DLC? What's going on? Sid, what the fuck's going on? And then we get Beyond Earth. So Beyond Earth was a, was a Sid Meier civilization game that takes place on, a, on an alien planet. It offered like, like new waves of plane and stuff like that. Beyond Earth isn't horrible, but it's like all they did was just make a very heavily modded version of Civilization V, which is fine. I kind of feel like they brought this out to try to just give people something so they could play, so they feel like there's something different, so the, you know, the franchise is still fresh and shit, so that they're still going ahead and making six. So this builds up the train, the hype train, right? Because here you are and you're like, yo, you're waiting for six. What's going on with six? They bring out Beyond Earth just to keep us happy, right? What the fuck? And then we get six. <sighs> what the fuck? Let's first explain Civilization VI, okay? It starts off the same fucking way. You choose a, a nation, right? Usually it's represented by, uh, you know, a, a leader in the history of that nation. And you go ahead and you start a civilization. You start with one town and then you build another settler and you expand and you, you exploit resources and all that. However, there are two fucking main things where they completely fuck up on that completely destroys the game for most people. And in many cases takes it a step fucking back and people just scratching their fucking head going, oh, why? In Civilization V and in Beyond Earth and in every other civilization I assume has ever existed, I've never played four before, but whatever, right? When you get a worker, basically the fucking dude, your peasant, right? Your council peasants. <laughs> when you get those fuckers, you go ahead, you could just hit automate, done. Like, leave me the fuck alone. That's what Sid Meier's made for, right? He's made to make shit simple and fun. I don't give a fuck. Just automate. Just build shit. Make my empire better. It was just an ease of mind. You build a handful of workers, automate. Done. What are they doing this one? They have charges now. So you can't automate them. You have to go over a fucking resource, right? And you have to use the charges. And they only have like two or three. And then they're gone. And then you got to build more workers. What the fuck? fuck are you doing this shit for? That is so fucking a taking a step back. That's so anti Sid Meier's, it's not even fucking funny. You're basically making it more annoying and harder for the gamer. Why? Just fucking leave it the way it was. If the system fucking works, why the hell are you gonna change it? I don't get it. I don't understand why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. So they go ahead and they do that, which makes the game already for me really fucking annoying. Then, they have this new system where it's called districts. So in Civilization V or Beyond Earth, when you build uh, a building for culture or you build a building for, you know, uh, uh, science or, or researching or for gold or whatever, whatever it is, you build it and it goes in the city. The same plot of the fucking city. That doesn't change. It's all in one fucking city. So your city that you need to protect and deal with and everything is there. All the resources you need to exploit with your little fucking workers, it's around your city. Very simple. Then comes Civilization VI. The districts take over an entire fucking tile in your fucking territory. So it's like, okay, cool, it looks nice, but what the fuck, dude? There's so many times when you start getting into late game, like mid or late game of Civilization VI, you have to actually start sacrificing resources or whole districts or whole fucking things that you built. Wonders? Oh no, 
fuck you on that. The wonders don't build in the city. The wonders build in their own district. So even more shit you lose. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Why the hell are you guys gonna do that shit to us? Like, honestly, that's fucking annoying. Do developers all sit in a fucking room and they sit there and goes, guys, uh, we're gonna make a new game. And uh, what we wanna do is actually take the player many steps back instead of forward because fuck them, that's why. We print money, haha. <laughs> I know there's a DLC coming, but I haven't seen it yet. Maybe that's what's gonna happen with this piece of shit. Cause Civilization V kinda started, uh -huh. and then the, the, the expansions came out and they were like really fucking good and they made the game a whole lot better. So maybe that's what's gonna happen with six. Maybe they're gonna release uh, uh, a DLC or an expansion that's gonna make it fucking better. I hope so. If you wanted to play a civilization and you see six and you're like, oh my God, I wanna play it, don't. Your best bet is going for civilization five. I think you can get it for 10 or 20 bucks, way better. Even if you want something different, go ahead and get Beyond Earth. Beyond Earth is fucking amazing. In my opinion, it's way better than six. Both of those are way better than six. It goes to show you that even if you have a game that has a legendary name behind it, like Sid Meier's, and you're assuming it's gonna be masterful, it can actually fall very, very, very fucking short. And, and, and the graphics, I never bitch about graphics, but those cartoony graphics, how can you go from the way things look so fucking good and crisp with the leaders and everything from Civ Five and Beyond Earth, and then you go to that shit where everything's like, I don't know, like it got pulled out of like some weird American anime. I don't, I don't like it. Hi, children. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready? All right, anyway, it's a creepy shit. It doesn't matter, I'm slowly roasting away in this room. It feels so good. I've never felt my neurons burn, and uh, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs>